Jahaviz spoke in the Ark of Awasti, in the Orion field of Hanj, in the Etherean heaven. Jahaviz said, Earth's time is at hand, the deliverance of her firstborn will fall at your doors. Come forth, O my sons and daughters, and receive them from my hand. Anessi, high aspiring goddess of Hanj, along with a thousand counselors, that is, her cabinet or governing body, for the work at hand, gathered in a host of five million souls, emancipated, and to them the dignified Anessi spoke, saying, Unlike all harvests previously delivered to us from other corporeal worlds, Jahaviz sends us the firstborn of the earth. Let us rejoice and glorify him, O my beloved. Send out to the boundaries of Hanj and proclaim there the upraised hosts of earth. You, who volunteer to go to the earth to receive them, come quickly. And you, who remain at home, provide them with mansions and quarters. Goddess, Anessi said. Swift messengers have just come to me from the Ark of Wan, Goddess Adesiai will be there. She was the one who bestowed Jehovah's crown on, Sathantes, the first god of the corporeal earth. Her hosts, a million strong, go by the way of Tivius, and ask that we meet them in Owe. And you, Wistwa, shall sit on my throne, as a vice god or regent. I will go to the earth, to receive the thirty million newborn, the glorious gift of Jehovah. Goddess, Anessi said. The young virgin earth has given birth. Oh the joy of the firstborn. I will take with me a host of singers, a million strong. Their voices shall have power and sweetness to win the love and adoration of all thirty million. The glory of Jehovah's works shall shine so brilliantly upon them that all past trials shall be forgotten. Hasten, O oh gods and goddesses. Let down the curtains of fire. Here begins the play of Jehave in the management of a new world. Now men and women gather together, being those long raised up in the emancipated heavens, whose wills were potent over Aji and Nebulae, and swift in appropriating what Jehave had fashioned in the firmament. And they built a ship, the size of which was equal to the width of Horde, the first kingdom of God Sathantes in Earth's firmament, and filled it, the ship, within with angels of the rank of gods and goddesses, many of whom had been brought forth into life before the Earth was created, and whose native corporeal worlds had gone out of existence. And they let down curtains from the ship, and the curtains were like flames of fire and they reached downward, equal to the breadth of the earth. These gods and goddesses were like a unit in will, being potent and swift workmen, the ship was soon laden and on her course through the vault of heaven. Past the Aegean fields of Chewang, she, the ship, rode swiftly. Soon the hosts of the much-loved, goddess, Adesiai were seen in a smaller craft, highly polished and swift, making way for a way. Up goes a shout of joy from millions of throats, then a song of delight, heaven is joyful in Jehovah's boundless dominions. And now the two traveling parties approach a way, and they slacken speed and draw near each other, nearer and nearer, till the ships touch and are joined by skilled workmen. Forth leap the two goddesses, Adesiai and Anessi, and in no stateliness or ceremony, but like children in whom love is transcendent, they fly to each other's arms, amid the outburst of joy from the countless throng. Yet onward moves the Aetherian ship, majestic and meteor-like, steadily taking course to the new earth.